Hello everyone, welcome back to Altruist playing Minecraft uh, Stone Block 2. I've picked up pretty much exactly where I left off. I believe that I told you that I, I got this wrong. Um, it's been a while since I played and I'm still flicking the mouse like a pro gamer and getting really confused by how far my view turns as a result. That's a little bit difficult. Um, whilst I've been away, I've been thinking of various things that I would like to do. One of which is uh, involves this witch water here. Now, I, I, if we... Do I remember that we had a uh, quest for witch water? Yes, so um, if we pick this up, we will complete that quest, which is grand. Um, give me my reward, please. Black Lotus. Oh, that's probably okay. I honestly have no concept of whether that is a good thing or not. What's it from? It's from Batania. So uh, is it, can we get uses of it? It has Alienis in it. And uh, Precantatio, we know about those because it tells you when you pointed it. You can enchant with Curse of Vanishing. It just sounds cool. Okie dokie. Uh, we'll put it away. Look, it's, you can see the three symbols. Uh, Ordo, Precantatio, and Alienis on... No, don't put it in a random chest, you monster. Uh, we're going to get into Thorncraft at some point, but it, uh, not right now. Let's put those in there. We're getting a nice supply of wood, but it's slow. I'd like to make another one of these, which we can get around to doing, but one of the main things that I do want to do is try and automate this lava production that we have over here, because this is fast. We've already established how amazingly fast this lava production is, right? So we should do something about that. We want to be able to... Um, if we could just pump cobblestone into here and have this underneath it. We're just going to have an endless supply of lava and we can let that back up. Whatever we do with that lava, if the thing that uses the lava, e.g. the smeltery, fills up, lava bucket fills up, no more room for cobblestone, everything stops. It's nice and easy, it automates itself. And what choices do we have to do that? I think probably our best option is, um, is uh, brain, ender.io. Uh, I need to put an at on that. That's a squiggle. At ender.io. Uh, and ender.io has conduits which we have many types of. There's fluid conduit, fluid fluid energy, enhanced energy, energy, ender energy. I don't know what that is. Uh, redstone conduit is cool. That means you, uh, it's essentially a redstone signal, but this is one here, fluid conduit. There is an item conduit. That's what we want to be able to use. The recipe for this, conduit binder and pulsating iron nuggets. <laughs> it's getting exciting. Uh, this is conduit binder, composite, smelted, and this is clay, sand, and gravel. Easy, so we can start making that quite happily, and then uh, you've moved everything around whilst I was using it. And then this stuff is pulsating iron, which is you can cast it, and then you've got molten pulsating. We might as well have a look in the induction smelter. It's ironing, got an ender pearls, of course it is, because ender IO it's based on ender quote unquote technology. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of ender pearls involved in ender IO stuff, which means we want to be able to get. A mob farm going if we can manage that anytime soon. So we'll think about that. The reason we wanted to get the witch water is to get to that point. Um, the next thing after the witch water is killing things I don't want to fight, but that's okay. Um, we can make netherrack apparently. Uh, witch water will allow us to um, produce. No, it won't. It doesn't make cursed earth at all. Cursed earth, which is a thing we're going to need comes from see if we've got any yet i was looking for uh spore yes that one oops yeah you can stay there that's okay this spore here ancient spores this one turns things into oh hang on is ancient spores what we got out of the we might be actually that's probably what made this how do we make this drop of evil because you can make cursed earth. Let's get rid of this. Cursed earth, right click soil with a drop of evil. Drop of evil uh, with a skeleton. And drop a drop of evil. Rare drop from wither skeletons. So we need to fight wither skeletons, which is, of course, uh, unfortunately, I confused myself. I thought we only needed witch water. We don't. We need to be able to get wither skeletons. On the good side of things, we do have a quest to make all these things. Uh, these, I believe, uh, spawn specific mobs when using a barrel full of specific fluid. The porcelain doll. Let's go down this path. Why not? Uh, the, by the way, there are other options for item transport, um, including the translocator, which again, I believe requires an ender pearl. Uh, I think I'll, I'm going to pause the video here a little bit 
because I'd forgotten about the Ender Pearl thing, so I was going to go, yay, let's use Ender IO. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, whilst I'm away, I'm going to have a look. Let's see what options we have for item transfer that do not require Ender Pearls. And then I'll come back with a good idea, and I'll see you in a minute. Hello again. Uh, I remembered that we do in fact have Thermal Foundation. Thermal. Uh, turn this off. Don't need that. Uh, thermal Foundation gives us two options for most item ducts. Some of them are see-through and some of them are not. If we look for duct, duct is the word that I can never think of because you can search for, you know, pipe, you can search for transport, you can search for transfer, you can search for blah, blah, blah. The item duct is what we're probably going to get the best value out of straight away. Um, the only thing about fluid ducts is they will break if their contents are extremely hot or cold. Lava, funnily enough, extremely hot, but you can create hardened fluid duct contents may be any temperature. And is hardened fluid duct opaque? If you have a look at the actual fluid duct, it needs any block glass hardened, which is pulverized obsidian to make hardened glass plain. But if you make the opaque one, this one, it's, uh, it's just lead, invar and lead, which we can do. And it's similar for the item duct, I should show you. The uh, item duct opaque, where are you? These are quite hard to tell apart just by looking at them, actually. Is tin and lead. So invar, tin, and lead. This is not where the things are. We should have... There's a piece of lead off. There's even more lead. What's, what's this one doing? Get this out of here. Put it all in here. Done. Right. Uh, in fact, we'll take these out of here and um, press K on them get pieces of whatever we have. Okay, there's a bit more lead. That's nice. So this lead uh, should be enough, actually. There's loads. So what are we even worried about? Let's get this lead in here, cooking up. Meanwhile, I don't want these. Meanwhile, beetroot seeds. We can get to the point of figuring out where we want these. I've picked up my hammer. I had a little bit of a look for it between <laughs> between recordings because I was uh, where's my hammer gone? So we would like a sort of a zone. We want a... Uh, I'm actually considering getting a uh, gadget. Ah, gadget. We want the destruction gadget, which is redstone, two ender pearls. So we can't do that yet. The destruction gadget will be really good. Because it means we can just sort of point at an area, delete a huge amount of stuff. You don't get the resources that come out of it, but the resources are going to be stone. Who cares? I don't care. I don't want it. Um, so like, these these little rooms are fine and all that, but we want this place to be a little more grandiose, a little bit more, you know, OTT, a bit, a little bit more la-di-da than they currently are. This all, by the way, is probably going to fall into the, the thermal thingy. So that's, let's put this on three and this on four. So not constantly trying to fail to do things so we're going to make a, a sort of a room i'm going to try and f i might figure it out off camera if you don't mind me doing so because i'm not quite sure where i want it to be or what i want it to look like and we'll come back in another couple of minutes ready to build an automated lava production facility how about that won't that be splendid boys and girls ladies and gentlemen roll up roll up read all about it etc i'm gonna let that stay in there because who doesn't need the occasional bit more seared stone and plus i did want to make that smeltery bigger we want to make the whole area bigger but the destruction gadget is going to be much more useful for that so i'm gonna let it um let it cook up uh, until eventually we can get ender pearls and then as a result actually make these things that require so damn many of them why also why is everything exactly one extra column of, of work for me. It's not fair. Why are you making things difficult, huh? All right. I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, have mercy, because this is going to be the start of something big, but I've dug down rather than forward so up. Thought A for a start. It's time we had a little bit of uh, what we call Z-axis work in the biz, uh, which is more Y-axis work in Minecraft, because you can see, of course, that if we press F3 and we jump, it's our y value that goes up. Where is it? <laughs> North towards negative z. That's a big value. So our x, y, z is 93, 94, 93. It's at the top of the paragraph on the left. Uh, Minecraft uses a geometrical ge geometry. Ooh. Okay. Minecraft is uh, more mathematical in geometry than anything else, which is to say, which is to say, um, 
It's, do you know what? Let's get this back. Uh, it, it, it uses a, uh, a Y is up. Oh, what is happening? No. Damn it. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't in a crafting table. That's just, I mean, that would be a waste if it wasn't for the fact that stone is ludicrously uh, valueless to us. I, I hadn't noticed that I was doing that. Let's just go to the That stone is not. Um, I was trying to compress it. My mistake. Hard to do things and talk at the same time. I don't know if you know this. Don't know if I've ever mentioned that that's a problem sometimes. But it is. So yeah, I've dug down rather than in any other direction because a little bit of uppy downy work is going to make this place look pretty cool. Also, I was thinking, of course, the uh, the plan was that when you come down from the, the heights of wherever is up there, you walk into here and you want to see sort of a grand hall, right? We don't want this pokey little box, which is just where we started in. We want, we want to make this place look worthy of the, the dwarves that do live therein. Uh, we've actually molten our lead, so how much is that? Uh, one block, five ingots. We'll make a block of lead. It's going to be enough for us for now. And uh, what shall I do with this witch water? <laughs> don't know. Um, let's make a little hole for it and then try not to fall in it, I guess. What happens if you fall in it? I think it makes us dizzy. Yeah, it gives us a horrible effect. Blindness, wither, weakness, slowness. So don't fall in that. Um, in fact, I'm going to put this here. <laughs> that won't last forever, so don't worry too much about that. Yay, there we go. And there's a block of lead. So we can start making our item ducts. Do what else did we need? We wanted lead, tin, and invar. We should look in our, our existing chest of, of gubbins here. There's already a block of lead. That's great. So uh, that, that, that. What's this? No. Uh, invar, 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 invar. Ooh, we only have two Invar ingots. That's not going to get us very far. We might want some more of those. Invar is just a thing, right? In, uh, what is smelting? Uh, invar blend. Two iron and a nickel. So we can do that. Because if we took two iron and a nickel. Stonium. Use to turn a pet rock and a crafting... And for crafting rock, okay. Uh, iron. Two iron and a nickel. We've only got one iron. Have we got a block of iron? No. Interesting. We're going to have to put some more iron on to cook. Let's do that now. Because that's going to need to cook up whilst we're doing uh, more ting. So we should get iron going. Do you know what? If we have um, two iron and a nickel, this is ten iron. So we need five nickel. We get four. That'll do. We can put these in here. That's going to just make invar for us. That's nice and easy. That cooks so quickly I'm going to finish it on camera, even though maybe that's not the most entertaining thing to do in the world. And then uh, we can start making ducts. We did need the hardened fluid ducts, which I think I've already accommodated, like accounted for, so to speak. This is two, one block and two ingots of stone. It's a weird amount of stone. I assume that one block of stone turned into one block of seared stone, but I guess it doesn't. That's okay. I'm guessing it turns into one ingot instead, and this is four of them. Something like that. Let's put this in our pesky chest of pesky. And yeah, we're all good. Uh, I, I did this so that I could pull this out of here, didn't I? So let's do this. 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 And then we can pick this up, which oh, it has one more lava in it. So we'll just do it properly. Okay. Don't really need that that in there pick this up and pick this up now we do have a cobblestone generator already which is grand because it means we don't have to make one it is level two so uh we could probably just straight up use this let's do that uh, i don't need you here either and then i think it's probably okay that we leave that there for now this can be moved i don't know if it will keep its we'll, we'll find out later if it keeps its stuff quite honestly because i don't care right now we're going to have the cobblestone generator. We're going to have superheating element. We're going to have the crucible. And then we're going to make some pipes. I threw away all of my stone crafting. Ooh, hiccups, table. But I don't need to because that was a bad idea. So uh, we were looking at fluid duct. Well, let's start with item duct. Uh, opaque item duct. This one. Can we do that yet? We need tin. My mistake. Tin. Tin, 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 tin. Oh, did I? Oh, a block of invar. What am I talking about? There we go. Uh, tin. 
10, 10, 10. Uh, come on, no 10. Back in a minute. Alrighty, we have a bunch of invalve, bunch of tin, bunch of lead, who cares? I don't know if I need all of that, but we're going to use it. Item duct opaque, that's what we want. How many do we get? I think that's far too many. We'll get just a few. There we go. Get rid of those. And we're going to need some hardened... Oh, I put item duct. Uh, fluid ducts. Words. Letters. Duct. Hardened fluid duct opaque. We'll get some of those. Excuse me. Invar, lead, invar. Go. It's tin. <laughs> tin, 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 lead. There we go. Uh, where's my invar? Here we go. I'll get a few of these because why not? That's kind of buggy, but that's okay. I don't want that. I want that. There we go. Uh, so, first thing we do is we put... Let's, let's give ourselves a bit of space. There's no need to, to cram ourselves in. I could make this as big as I want to. There's no need to start on the edge. Also, one aesthetic that I'm probably going to go with, sorry to make you all dizzy with spinning around, I like looking at pipes and stuff. I'm not going to hide everything in the walls. We're going to make it all big and open and we're going to have room. So uh, let's start about here. Yeah. Because we're going to change this as well, and it might even go even deeper, so we never know. This is just a temporary stair so I can get in and out. Uh, we're probably going to have stairs that go down that way and have sort of a, uh, a balcony that goes round. So we'll start this. We can always move it. There's no reason not to. Um, and then we can do this. Is this going to put that in there? No. Fine then. Screw you. Uh, item duct. Oh, the other thing we might need... If that's not going to auto output then this is probably not going to pull them oh what it will connect there this is a fluid duct you silly boy fluid duct item duct there um it's not going to pull so it's not going to push do you see that so what we're going to need to do is create a servo thermal servo it's only going to need to be a simple one. It's going to be iron, any glass, redstone, and more iron. So we've got plenty of iron. We have iron on us. Iron. I hate looking for stuff, so I'm just going to do it this way. So we've got a couple of nugs of iron. There we go. And then we need some redstone. I think we have enough redstone for this, but if not, back to sifting. Didn't really get everything together because I've forgotten about this necessity right here. It's really pesky. Uh, redstone. Redstone. Oh, dear me. Any other places we can look? Oh, I forgot about this. Nope. No, nope. didn't expect them to be in here. That's okay. Guess I'll get sifting. I'll see you when I got some redstone. Blimey. All right, we did get a bunch of redstone from now, and that's good because we're going to need to make more than one of these servos. Um... I do would make a hardened servo, which is iron and invar. We've got a lot of invar. Did I keep it? No, let me go and get it. Hardened servo just goes faster, and that's pretty much what we wanted. So, can you stop setting fire to everything? In fact, you know what? Let's pick up these. I don't... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they can stay in the buckets, and then they won't keep setting fire to everything. We'll get our in invar back. Make a hardened servo, it's just a bit quick, and we're going to need more than one. Because this is an item duct, we're going to need the fluid ducts, and that's going to have to extract as well. We'd like to be able to extract the fluid with a reasonable amount of speed because there's going to be a lot of things to fill up, one of which is going to be a tank. So um, let's try and make a, a hardened server. We need, we need glass. Bro, we need glass. Glass, glass, glass blow. Glass blow. Get some glass. We had glass, that's good. Never check, do I? Start recording. Do you have the thing? No. What do you mean? I mean do I have the thing? Of course I don't have the thing. Uh, so what's the time you put it on this in here like this and then you have an empty hand and you right click on it like this and you can go blacklist or whitelist <coughs> excuse me we could if we wanted to whitelist cobble but there's nothing else coming out of there uh this is a maximum stack size you can have here is redstone control we ignore redstone this starts extracting and going into here go there we go so we can't see it because it's opaque for it not to be opaque we'd need hardened glass and we don't have that yet uh but Eventually we will, and that would be great, because then we can see what's going where. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So, the other thing that we'd like to do then is be able to extract it with the fluid up. So we'll put this here and this here. And then this will be our power, our, not power line, but the lava line, right? So we'll ignore redstone and then this should be full of lava. So you can see how the tank's empty and all this has lava in it, but you can't tell. Uh, what we can do is we'll make a tank. We would like, let's try a, a thermal tank. So the tanks from thermal, Portable tank is pretty good, actually. I don't know if I want to make one of those. We could. What else we got in the way of tanks? We nice to have a tank that just holds a, a decent amount of anything, really. Cyclic has one, which is uh, glass obsidian, which we can make. And iron, that should be fairly easy. How much does it hold? 64 buckets of any liquid. We might as well make this. Can we make this now? We need the obsidian. And we have two buckets of lava so we might as well just make the obsidian if we, if we can i meant to do this one yeah let's just make some obsidian we'll have to wait for a couple of seconds for it to uh turn into to, to harden but that's okay two buckets of lava in there two buckets of water in here along with it and we've got obsidian i figured out that the stripes of the bar that you can see there tell you how many so that looks like one, two, three, four, five, six ingots, which should be uh, eight ingots, maybe. <clears throat> oh, that didn't help. <laughs> I don't know how many ingots that is, but it looks like, yeah, four per thing. That would have been eight. Dum -dee -dum. It's not really very useful to me is the problem. You have to still have to click on it to figure out how many times to click that in order to know how many times to click that. But there we go, two blocks of obsidian. Which is more than enough because we only needed one for the tank. But it's nice to have a couple. Not this one. One from Cyclic. Uh, more iron, please. Well, it's very soon, or reasonably soon, we're going to be able to have a uh, slightly more. What? Very soon. <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to have an easier way of getting to all our materials, but right now, not really an option. Where's my iron? We've got three iron ore pieces. What are you talking about? What are the tanks are there? <laughs> uh, decoration block. No. Ender IO has fluid tank, which is presumably going to be more iron. Way more iron. Ender tank needs an ender thingy, but ender tanks are cool. So there is that. Surface quartz. Well, it's quartz glass from AE2, which is, sorry for bashing the microphone. Nether quartz dust, which we maybe make, but I don't really care. And then some glass. Uh, I think I'll just make the build craft tank for now. It only holds a certain amount of um, stuff, but we can at least make one. <laughs> That's a good start, right? Uh, and we can always pump out the lava into a different type of tank soon anyway. So give me this tank. If you put this here, you'll see that this starts filling up with lava. Ta-da! So now if we need lava, we can either get it from here or from here. Now we can start thinking about our lava generator. Let's have a look at our quests. We, we, we have a quest on lava. This one? This one. Builder. Okay. That seems hard to get. Storage upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We should also fill in our draw system because I'd forgotten we had it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, chickens, cows. These, are, these get harder as we go along. So, storage is easy. Fairly easy anyway. Uh, we'd like an ender pearl at some point. Visit the end. Like the mining dimension. I might go off camera and start bashing away at the ceiling, so to speak. Uh, and try and get to that mining dimension to see if we can get out of there. But. For now, we've at least got this lava essentially automated, so we can have as much lava as we like. This is going to constantly be pulling it out until all these uh, pipes are filled up, as well as this tank, which is now full. Uh, how many buckets are you? I don't really know. Maybe it's this many. One, two, three, four. Probably eight buckets. That seems fair. I don't want to do that. Uh, the builder from RF Tools. This block can quarry areas, pump liquids, move, copy, swap structures, clear them, blah, blah, blah. Build structures. Um, it... It, it does stuff, but it's not the sort of thing we want at this stage of the game. So it's going to have to go in our assorted technology chest, which is filling up very quickly. Take some of these dusts out. Um, the other thing we should probably start doing, actually, with this water mill that we've got going. Flux network, okay. Um, is. Make some, make some power happen. So we can 
probably put some power over here. So here's the, how this works. If you put a water mill on the ground, nothing happens. See how it says grid power? This is the one where the power that you have is sort of ethereal. It's available all over the place. But you have to have things that can extract power from the grid. Um, so not everything falls into that category. Probably move this at some point too. So if you put running water next to this, it has to be running water, that's the thing. But running water next to this, each side that has running water gives you uh, four grid power, right? If it's still water, I mean, it's always going to be water, but if it's not moving water, it doesn't count. So if I put this here and then we get one, two, three with thing on it, see, uh, it's 11. What? Okay. Anyway, this is 16. That's not the whole point. May, uh, it's possible that you still. Hang on. If I put. This is no water. That's eight. Interesting. So what's this? Six. So the, these aren't moving. We've got less energy. I think there's still an, a little bit of an algorithm where you get some bonus for it being on the corners. But if you put the two on the corners like this. I wonder then if I do this. Eight. 14. That's very interesting. <laughs> I didn't expect that. 16 is the, the most you can get, I believe. But then the other thing you can do is sort of make a um, a pattern out of it. So let's bat into this wall because I have no shame. Like this. Put our torch somewhere sensible for now. Oh. Check there's nothing going to kill us. And then this is our static water supply, right? But you can do this. And then this. I mean, there's a better pattern, which involves putting one here, I think. Um, well, I've actually got four, so we might as well do that. And then you want more water. Make a sink, really. This is... Water's too far away. Go. And then if we put one here. And take these three out. You should all be producing 16 when I'm finished. So this one is on 16, 16, 16. And one more. We'll have a decent amount of grid power to start with. This doesn't help us just yet. We've got lots of power generation techniques going on, which is kind of interesting because it's not really been that useful for us. What it has been useful for is... Um, yeah, 64, great. What it has been useful for is this smeltery place here. So I think what I'm going to do is go dig up there make more space, try and get to the mining dimension. We're going to dig out some more of this so that we have some stuff to do. But we've got lava generation going, and that's really good. That's what we wanted to do in this episode. There's many other things I would like to do. Obviously, I want to get into Ender IO because I liked that. Uh, we did get some witch water, and we can start spawning enemies if we really want to and killing them manually. Um, but witch water can also turn into soul sand. So the other thing that I would like to do is to create a material stonework factory. Stone work. Here it is. But this requires pink slime. We, we can make a machine case probably quite easily. It's a lot of redstone uh, and some, even more iron, so we're going to go sifting as well. But the pink slime is going to be the difficult part for all this because there's no recipe for it, right? You have to find it. I believe you have to find it. Um, which is actually kind of interesting. I thought there was a recipe for it. I'm going to have to have a look in between episodes, look it up. On the internet and see how we can do that one so yeah we've got a few tasks ahead of me diggy diggy up diggy diggy down uh, and then once we've dug down here this might be the angle i take to try and get into the dungeon this is already very compact and i don't like it but digging is slow and difficult so i'm not doing it right now uh if we can just delete a huge amount of this area make a big hole uh, and fill it with machinery and stuff that's going to be great also i'd like to be able to sort of branch off of it so we need it needs to be way longer, way bigger, way taller. Uh, that's going to be in the future for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm sort of trying to get back to the swing of things, so I apologise for my uh, fractious nature, uh, my, my uncertainty during this episode. But I'm sure we'll get back into the swing of things, remember how Minecraft works, and start playing it a little bit more, uh, a bit more fluently. But until next time, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. I'm in a smeltery. Help. Oh.